Hey there and welcome back to Flashback Flicks with Janessa Rose. Today we're going to be discussing and reviewing one of my personal favorites, The Fifth Element, written and directed by Luke Benson. Luke Benson did not miss a beat with this film. He went through everything. I mean, trains running down the side of buildings. He pretty much just predicted a New York City or inner city, I should say, because it's in Brooklyn, where I'm personally from, which I love. Um, basically what it would be like by this time, 2017, 2016 maybe I think it's based in, um, what New York City would look like. Basically everyone living on top of each other, Chinese restaurants, on floating vans, I mean, forget it. If you have an imagination of what the future could be like, this is the, this is the movie to watch. Um, Bruce Willis, who plays Corbin Dallas, is a very miserable, unhappy, bored, let's say war veteran, but he's a cab driver now in Brooklyn, New York, which is super cool because that's pretty like, pretty much what these men do. So he was pretty on point with that. Uh, Mila Okovich uh, is a, was at the time in 1997, a really uh, well-known actress and model, and she plays Lilo, the fifth the fifth element which is actually the supreme being and she's supposed to be everything in the world that's perfect and with her with her and the assistance of fire air water and earth she can help save the world and we're threatened by this dark force that no one knows about and where is it coming from um basically it's threatening our earth we have gary oldman playing the villain who is looking for uh, his name is zork he's looking for the fifth element um that doesn't really understand what the fifth element is he really wants the stones which are hidden in a green a green alien pop singer opera dance electro pop type of a person um who's going to be traveling and performing in uh flossed in paradise which is another planet planet which obviously people go this is what we do now and in, in this time according to luke benson we travel to different planets to vacation um there's a big event that's hosted by this big star ruby red played by chris tucker who's hilarious he's like this cross-dressing androgynous type of male uh super uh, super green i should say because that's one of the catchphrases or taglines in, in the film for him super cool um luke Benson didn't miss a beat on imagining imagining what could be in the future um given a circumstance like this and i'm in my opinion this is one of my favorite films I definitely suggest you guys check it out i mean for me it's a five star i enjoyed it i wasn't bored not one bit i can watch this film over and over and over again it's about it, it was released in 1997 we're now in 2017 so like there you go you know what i mean like 20 years and it's still something that i can watch and never get tired of i suggest you guys check it out five stars for flashback flicks with janessa rose